Hey Mike, when I'm importing photos into Lightroom, which preview type should I choose? Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does in specific situations and I'll tell you why, but overall it doesn't really matter. Previews only matter in the library tab of Lightroom. In the develop tab, Lightroom is drawing data from your raw file. Now it's also important to know that Lightroom automatically builds standard previews for all your files, whether you select it or not. Plus then every time you click on an image and zoom into 100%, Lightroom is building a one of one preview. So all that you're really saying when you're importing photos is, should I create these previews now? or do it later in the background. This is basically just giving you the choice to use up your computer memory now or do it later. Now the first two options you have are minimal or embed and sidecar. Minimal is the smallest possible preview Lightroom can build to display a thumbnail. This really helps to get a full gallery into Lightroom quickly so you can see all the thumbnails. Embed and sidecar takes the JPEG preview that your camera builds and uses that in Lightroom. Again, super fast option for getting photos into Lightroom but you can't edit from those previews. Now standard previews, like I said before, are built automatically so I always select this on import. It only takes about five minutes, but then all of the previews are loaded so I can edit freely without the computer doing work in the background. I usually leave out one of one previews because I don't usually zoom into 100% in the loop view. And if I do, I'm happy to wait the three seconds for Lightroom to build the full res preview. Something I will create though are smart previews. Unlike the others, these can actually be used in the develop tab and they're designed as a replacement for your raw files. If you build smart previews on import, you can actually edit from those with your hard drive disconnected. And then when you plug it back in, all the edits will transfer over. They're not full resolution and they're not 100% quality, but the file size is so much smaller that they do allow you to edit so much faster. 